guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the final figure I needed to complete my Headmasters, my original Headmasters collection. This is G1 Weird Wolf. Um, like I said before, I do have, I do, this is the last of the seven main Headmasters uh, from the series Headmasters and from the American G1 cartoon. Um, four Autobots, three Decepticons. I've reviewed all of them except for him, which I'm doing now. And uh, Highbrow. And Highbrow I have, but Highbrow is in storage, so once I dig him out, I will review him proper. But this guy does complete my mainline Headmasters collection. Um, I also have the Horror Cons being Snapdragon and Ape Face, who are Headmasters. And I have a couple Headmaster Juniors, but I need to get all those built up before I can do, before I'm going to start really doing those reviews. But, um, yeah, so here we have Weird Wolf. As you can see, he is a wolf. Weird wolf. He's kind of weird, I guess, but <laughs> he's a wolf. His mouth does open that much, but he his head does also pivot on its own. Um, I do wish this guy was in a little bit better condition, but I mean, um, the white plastic isn't yellowed at all. It's just the joints are, especially that side, a wee bit loose. But other than that, he's in that bed. So yeah, he does have, you know, some pretty good posability. Can get him kind of low. I mean, okay, maybe that wasn't the best way to show it off, but um, it's not that bricky of a G1 figure. It's actually fairly posable and fairly articulated. Yeah. So his headmaster is up in here. For some reason, he can't sit normally. For some reason, you have to like kind of jam him in there because his cockpit's too flat. But here we have his headmaster, who is the Nebulon Monzo. M O N Z O. And no, I am not making that up. But if you're like me and you follow the Japanese continuity, this is not Monzo, this is Weird Wolf, and that is tr his Transtector, as we have said about a dozen times already. But yeah, here we have Monzo or Weird Wolf. Decent color scheme. Not the best, not the worst. So yeah, we'll transform. Yeah, same exact same articulation as every other headmaster. Locked at the knees, posable arms, and posable hips. So yeah, we'll transform it to head mode real quick. And there's Weird Wolf's head. A little bit chipped on the paint, not bad. Again, it's hard to find good G1 figures. So, let's transform this. Uh, also, the stickers on this guy aren't the greatest. I don't know what's going on with this. That does not look right. And there's another one on his crotch. And those stickers just look completely out of place. So, might repo label this guy. Because these stickers kind of stink. So, yeah, transformation. Unplug the sword from his butt. Oh, the sword is actually articulated and it's on a hinge so you can actually move his tail so yeah we'll take the sword off now he looks like he has no tail ah, right. um, flip this butt plate up out of the way straighten the legs flip up the beast legs to create the robot legs stand him up rotate Scary joints. Oh god. Rotate those arms and shoulders around. Fold back the animal legs. Exposing the robot fists. One second here. Flip back the wolf head. Again, it kind of makes a cluster. You know what in the back. There we have him in his robot mode, in his transtector mode. Unfortunately, the backpack is pushing the back of my whiteboard all over the place. Yeah, could be a little bit tighter. Are these pins or screws? No, oh, those are pins. Can't get in there. Thought I can tighten them up. Yeah, well. So yeah, let's 
flip down the text spec sheet, take his head, bring him up close for his close up. What do we yell, kids? Head on. You find the plug. And there you go. So he is speed of about a six, strength of about a five, and intelligence of about a ten, which doesn't make a lot of sense because he wasn't very smart in the show. Anyway, none of the Decepticons are actually smart in the show. Take his sword, stick it in his hand. A little bit of paint wear on that. Here's his gun, fairly generic gun. Big clip. Plug that in his other hand. And there we have Weird Wolf put together in his robot mode. I really need to get in here and tighten this bad boy up. So yeah, articulation. Oh, also, there, I just discovered these before I shot the video, but there are these flaps that if you rotate them up, he's got like missile launchers on his shoulders. Don't remember ever seeing those in the show, but they're there. Articulation, shoulders go all the way around, but like I said, scary joints. I don't want to go crazy with them. Hands go, there's a bend at the elbow. Ugh, again, scary joints, so I'm not going to force it. Um, hips back, forward and back at the hip. Bends at the knee. Mostly forward, in fact, all forward for the transformation. So he's got the crazy forward knee joints. And that's about it. Nothing at the waist, because it's a G1. And we have a ginormous, ginormous backpack. So yeah, make lots of room on your shelf for this guy. So yeah. Not a whole lot else I can say about him. I mean, I think it's cool that I finally completed my mainline collection of uh, Headmasters. Um, gotta start working on the Headmaster Junior soon. So yeah. Not much else I can say about him. Um, grab him if you can. If not, don't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're not a G1 collector, you know these guys aren't really going to appeal to you. Um, we do have Quadruple U coming out. Supposed to be coming out this month. Um, this, I am shooting this in the, at the end of April. It's supposed to come out in April. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come out in April, but we'll see if it actually hits in April or not. Uh, Quadruple U is the fans project version of this guy. And then after that, in May, we're supposed to get uh, Smart Robin, who is this guy, Brainstorm. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully they come. But So the, real, the only the biggest downfall is this guy. You can't have his... Like when you put his headmaster in his cockpit, it just doesn't fit. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, again, now I'm rambling. So this has been the video review for... G1, Headmaster, Weird Wolf.